much are we willing to trust God with you guys? Do we put our trust in God in portion sizes as if it's food that we're dishing out on a plate and we just dish out a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, but not the whole pot of what's going on in our life? That's what I was asking myself this week as I was unpacking. You guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. It is another episode of Vet Green. Yes, I am here unpacking, doing what I do because you guys, I have so many chains that have to be broken from the generations that came up before me and I refuse to give up. I refuse to lay down and just take what's handed to me. I am taking my power back. I am getting up, I am fighting because a change has to come and it has to start with me. It has to start with me. I know that um, sometimes change is hard. It is very difficult because you are becoming someone that's very unfamiliar to you. You are someone who God knew you to be since you were born. But for us, it's unfamiliar for us. And that's what the hard part is because we don't know who that person is on the other side of yesterday's person. I don't know who this person that I am evolving into be looks like. You know, I'm going with the flow of God. I try and stay within the flow of God because that's where I feel my peace at the most. You guys, um, that's definitely where I feel my peace at the most. As my faith in God grows, you guys, it's um, sometimes the ability to hand off everything is becoming difficult. It's, um, I know that God is where I feel my most peace at. I know when I am going along with what he's called me to be, that's where I feel my most peace at. But sometimes I am impatient and I want things to happen now. And when I become impatient and forget that this is a process, that's when I feel that uneasiness. That's when I'm looking around like, oh my God, what just happened here? Like, seriously, what just happened here? And then I have to rewind. I have to rewind and start from the beginning, retrace my steps, find out, okay, what was going on in my life? What was happening that made me take this road? What was I feeling at the moment? Was I feeling lonely at the moment and that's why I took this road? Was I upset with someone and that's why I decided to take that road? You know, I have to rewind and, and retrace because I need to figure out what's going to work because this is a new life for me, you guys. With every new level that I that I achieve, there's a new devil waiting for me. And the devil that was slayed at the, at the level before is not the same devil that's at the next level. And that's gonna be for you guys as well. You are gonna, for each new level, there's definitely gonna be a new devil. The devil's gonna keep looking prettier and prettier and it's gonna come, it's gonna come looking like something like a present wrapped in gold with diamonds and glitter and shining and saying, yeah, you know, I'm for you, but in all, and it's truly not, you guys. And that's why that's this is called a process because we have to learn to decipher what's for us and what's not for us. And a lot of times God knows what's for us, but we want to try and steer the wheel. We want to try and, you know, make that cake. And, and that cake doesn't always come out pretty. I remember um, a long time ago, I was about 19, 20 years old. I had just got my apartment. Um, my girls were still young. They were probably, this was probably 96, 1997. So it was my, the first Thanksgiving that I would be cooking. Usually we would be at Sister Greenhouse. Even with three kids, I had my three girls, we would still be at Sister Greenhouse for Thanksgiving. 
But this particular Thanksgiving, I decided to, you know, have Thanksgiving at my house. I felt like, you know, I have a family now that let me, you know, try and do what my mom had always did. So my mother-in-law had came up to show me how to cook this pineapple upside down cake because that was my husband's favorite cake so and she made it the best so she decided you know I had invited all the family over and invited his side my side and she came up early to show me how to make this famous upside pineapple upside down cake right so I'm in the kitchen and I'm putting the ingredients together and she's sitting at the kitchen table watching me you know guiding me um, or so I thought <laughs> It got to the point where, you know, she decided that she had to step in and she told me, huh, he don't like it like that. You're not doing it right. And I say that to say, you guys, sometimes we may not like the way God is trying to lead us. So we decide to step in and take over. And that's when our cake come out all burnt up and lopsided. And then we can't serve it. What good is that cake? We just go take it from the middle and start eating it and forget about the core that's supposed to be all pretty and stuff. That's not how this works. That's not how this works at all, you guys. And during my unpacking this week, that's what I was telling myself. You know, this is God trying to steer me in one direction and I am surrendering things to him in my life but what am I holding back from God what am I not surrendering what am I still trying to keep my hand in that because I think he doesn't know how to do it right but is that true we all know that when God is is surrounding us with his grace there is nothing that's impossible for him there is nothing that we cannot overcome if God is involved this is what I'm learning, you guys. This is what I have to tell myself. And I, I, I tell you guys, every time I learn something, I'm going to try and tell you guys about it because it's helping me. It's helping me get a closer relationship with God and understanding who Jesus was and what he did for us. And it's amazing. It's an amazing, peaceful feeling that I just want to share with you guys because it's helping me. It's helping me overcome so much. It's helping me evolve. It's helping me understand who I am, who God called me to be, why I'm here, why we're here, how we're all connected. It's helping me understand all of that. There's a reason for everything that happens to us. And sometimes we don't understand it and we want to put our hand in the pot and try and steer the wheel and try and, you know, put our hand all up in the Kool-Aid and, and God saying that's his business. Stay out of it. You guys, this is a process. It's a process. You guys hear my phone going off. I should have put it on Do Not Disturb, but, you know, so. You guys, I wish everyone have a wonderful, wonderful week. I am going to get to doing what I need to do as far as my goals. You know, I have a goal that I have set. You guys, 2020 is in a blink of an eye. We're going to look up and 2020 is going to be here. Start setting your goals now. Don't set yourself up for failure. Set your, start, start setting your goals now so that you can plan and you can start getting yourself ready. Preparation is key. Preparation, meet an opportunity. That's not luck. You get prepared, we get prepared for the opportunity that God has already waiting for us. He just needs us to get prepared. He needs us to take action, right? He needs us to be ready for all the rewards and blessings that's due to us. It's already written, you guys. It's already written. You know, once we take our hand out the pot and once we start looking at things in a positive way and take the victim mentality out of our box and start looking at things as why are 
these things coming to me not. Well, why is this happening to me? No, it's, okay, why? Why did this just happen? Guys, just change the narrative. Just change the narrative. I am um, studying the Bible, and one of the passages that I had came across, because this was sitting on my heart, you know, what was going on, my unpacking, and I said, I'm going to share with you guys, was Jeremiah 29, 11. And it was written that the Lord said, for I know the plans I have for you to prosper, not to harm you. You guys think about that this week. God knows what he has planned for us. He's not in the process of trying to hurt us or harm us. You know, everything that's happening to us is happening for us and it's for a reason we have to change the narrative no longer the victim you guys we are the victors here and our drive to thrive will make us survive our drive to thrive will make us survive you guys say that to yourself every morning when you wake up my drive to thrive will make me survive affirmative positive affirmations All right, you guys, I love you guys. I am signing off. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. You guys, leave me a comment. I hope you subscribe to the Vet Green page. This is a journey. You guys, we are in this together. We are in this together, and I hope that you guys join me. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you want to hear, What what's going on in your life. Maybe we can come together, you know, when two like minds come together. Only greatness can evolve. So I love you guys. Remember, our drive to thrive will make us survive. My drive to thrive will make me survive. Our drive to thrive will make us survive. I love you guys.